I'm here with uh, Deanne Rose, Olympic medalist in uh, the Women's Canada Soccer Team. Uh, and we're here to talk about responsibility. Deanne, what kind of responsibilities did you have as a kid? As a kid, I had responsibilities just like any other kid. I did dishes, I cleaned my room every Saturday. Me and my brothers, just the same way, had to clean our room, vacuum, dust the furniture, just like any other kid. Did you ever complain about it? For sure. <laughs> my mom definitely heard a lot of complaining from me and my brothers. Just whenever we didn't want to do our chores, but we always did it because we knew we had to, but definitely a lot of complaining. Now that you're uh, older and an Olympian, uh, have your responsibilities changed? Do you still have to do certain things around the house and with your studies and things like that? I definitely still have some of the same responsibilities. They've evolved a little bit. So now instead of just doing my chores and just vacuuming the living room, like now I have to balance my schoolwork and being away for camp and then doing all those sorts of things while coming back home and trying to spend time with my family. So just, yeah, trying to balance all those things. So are, are you actually in school while you're doing all this training and like uh, playing across the world uh, in soccer matches or do you have to sort of look after that all yourself? I'm not, I'm actually, I'm in grade 12, I attend St. Thomas Aquinas, but I'm not in school all the time, so I'm always trying to catch up, I always go to my teachers after when I get back, I'll miss two to three weeks of school at a time, and then I'll come back and try and catch up. Oh, uh, what would you say to kids today if they wanted to um, go to the Olympics or, you know, excel in a sport of their choice or some other uh, adventure? What, what would you say to them about responsibility? I would say that it's one of the most important things. If you want to pursue your sport or anything that you, that you dream of becoming, you have to be responsible. You have to take responsibility for your actions and just be responsible for yourself. Know what it takes to get you there and always go in that direction. It's sort of like have a goal and aim towards it and not get bogged down in the little stuff leading up to it? Yeah, for sure. Like there's always distractions and there's always going to be little things. Sometimes you want to go out and hang out with your friends instead of doing your homework or do the dishes. But if you want to be the best and if you want to do what you love, you've got to make sacrifices sometimes. Uh, one final thing, Dan. What is a goal that you have that's short term and a goal that you have that's maybe 10, 15 years down the road? What, give us two goals that you have for yourself. Um...